Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is Afterburner. Well, I said Afterburner 2 there, but I'm pretty sure it's Afterburner on the Commodore 64, released in 1988 by Activision, but developed by Software Studios. Activision also released it on the Spectrum, the Amstrad, the Atari ST, and the Amiga. All of those versions, with the exception of the Spectrum, I have never seen or played. Um, I had the Spectrum version back in the day as a kid, and it was a pretty rubbish and, you know, <sighs> underwhelming port. Once again, you would argue that you couldn't really do a sprite scaler by Sega on home systems, but I've always said it, you know, the Elite pulled off Space Harrier absolutely superbly. Now, that was a terrible port, it was a multi-loader, I don't know if this is a multi-loader, I do know that there is um, a North American version that was actually made by Sega themselves. Now, pay attention, uh, bottom left hand corner, your planes, bottom right hand corner, your missiles, top, you can barely see it, is your score. You really, this is it, this awesome SID um, chip tunage right now is pretty much as good as it gets. You'll see what I mean. Right, there we go. Uh, so we're just floating in the sea that is blue, right? So you, you fire all the time. There's no way you can even take anything in. I mean, the screen is super cropped as it was on the Spectrum version, but I would immediately argue, not just because I'm a Spectrum fanboy, that that was better. Right. It moves so fast, uh, you think it's bad for you, it's just as bad for me. Fire button, uh, you fire your machine guns or your, uh, your Vulcans all the time. Fire button is your missiles. Um, I don't know how long they last, but you do have to get a lock on before you can fire them. Or uh, they feel like they're firing automatically. Your plane looks absolutely pants. I thought the NES version looked absolutely pants, but this is, a, this is a something else. Right. And then look, they, they bring the sky with them when they go over the floor. I mean, it's the Commodore 64, I thought it could do fucking colour. I mean, I mean, seriously, Activision, what, what were you thinking? And it, I don't know, am I, what am I firing? They don't look like rockets. They look like rockets kind of a little bit more on the spectrum. On this, they look like, I don't know, <sighs> clouds? Bubbles? Fucking, <sighs> am I firing Bub and Bob? Uh, the, the tune's getting on my tits now because it's a really, really, really small loop. And my eyes are starting to hurt, so I apologise for yours. Um, just, oh, that's it, that's that level. That was a little bit of multi-loading there because this is obviously running on emulation. Okay, and then I had to unpause it. Weird. Uh, now we're in the desert, so slightly less garish background. Um, just a little of it, if you will. Um, I can't even see the bad guys. Right, so that's supposed to be, oh, that's a missile behind me. How do I, how do I barrel roll? I got rid of him. So that's what the red flashing shit at the top is, like in the arcade. Right, well, I got rid of him. I've, I've absolutely destroyed my hand doing such. Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck, 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 fuck. What, have I got no flares or shit? That's, so, so what? Is that, oh, I was just going to say, welcome back, bad guys. I've got no missiles. That means I need to dock with my fucking... Plane, mothership, anything, iPod, bollocks, come on. What is the mechanic with avoiding rockets? It just, I don't know, I feel like I'm just winging it. This is fucking appalling. This is absolutely appalling. What were you thinking, Activision? Oh, new level. There we go. Oh, look, look. Plane and shit. And it just, it just sucks me in. So I've got my rockets back. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, don't, don't go mental. Just use our Vulcans if we can. I think I got travel sickness. Has anyone got a ginger biscuit? Or one of those little weird things you used to tie on the back of your car that would scrape along the motorway when you're driving in the back with your parents. Okay, so when I die, I just go into like twinkly stars and shit. Right, can I, can I? Thank you. No hurry. Just the fucking Air Force. There we go. Get some rockets in your life. Sound effects would be nice, to give some indication that you've hit them. It's like when my bong smoke goes out, I don't even know what's fucking going on. Right, 
and the music's on a really small loop as well. Oh, this is terrible. And this was like fourteen ninety nine when it first came out. I wouldn't have even paid the budget price when it got hammered down on like was it Hit Squad or something? Oh, I've just gone batshit crazy and lost all my or launched all my rockets. Oi 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 oi! It just has got no indication that you're doing anything. Apart from that mild sensation of nausea, eye strain, and um, a headache. Okay. And, oh, we still go, oh, ground attack, ground attack, and that's all I can absolutely take of this absolutely horseshit diabolical port of Afterburner. Yeah, gonna say it, people, Spectrum version is better. Curious as to what the Amstrad version is like, and um, still my favourite home port of it has got to be the amazing PC Engine version. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I think I'm gonna be sick.